I've come to a conclusion that I don't want to know about computers at all anymore. Because if I know about computers, I'm going to have to talk about computers, and then I'm going to make mistakes, and then I'm going to sound like an idiot, because there are like over 4 million IT people, and they all know more than me, because they've actually had jobs in IT. And I've only designed like two computer networks in my entire life, and they're not even regular computer networks, they're weird computer networks. That's for a natural gas pipeline. So, like, when I was talking about this idea for a... Artificial intelligence that predicts your behavior based on cameras in your house, of course it would be a wide area network if you have 50,000 people in it. Why? Because there are only so many IP addresses on a local area network and we would have to use routers and we'd have to have a network backbone and every single camera would have an IP address and then the computers on the network, which would be air, gra air gap from the other network, would which it wouldn't even be part of the wide area network I'm talking about. They would have, they'd be, I know I'm not very good at computers and I'm especially not very good at talking about computers and I am very, very, very sorry to all the computer people that were offended by me not knowing, me sounding like I don't know what a local area network is when I do know what it is. It's just, I was so focused on the network being isolated from the general internet because usually when there's a wide area network there is a way to access the general network um but i've never designed a, a wide area well that is a wide area network that i have over there that i just showed you even if it's a it's a, and it's an air gapped wide area network but i didn't think of it as a wide area network when i was designing it but that's because i wasn't sitting there um especially not doing static IP addresses, which that probably that, that would have static IP addresses. All I'm saying is I'm not a complete idiot, but I sure sound like it. And I'm sorry I don't know about computers enough. And I really am sorry that I ever learned about computers. And I'm more sorry that I don't have people around me to be like, hey, you're talking about a wide area network, not a local area network. You sound like an idiot. Because I swear to God, you don't understand how many people think I sound like an idiot. Like, if, if you're not a computer person, you're listening to this, you're going, dude, you sound like an idiot. And, wait, no, you're going, I didn't, wait, if you're not a computer person, you, see, I'm just, I'm not a, I shouldn't be running for president at all. I shouldn't have to run for president. I don't want to have to run for president. But why am I running for president still? Because I want to save the world. Because <laughs> I'll do it. The guy that doesn't even freaking know basic, like, Day number one of computer networking class. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> I'm sorry that I don't know about computers. You need to go find Mark Zuckerberg, who is actually probably the most sexy man alive. We Everyone's decided Mark Zuckerberg is the sexiest man alive or someone from some other computer thing. All right. I'm sorry that I don't know about computers.